Hey, what's up guys? MGH here. Welcome back to the QPR career mode where we are in 15th place. Oh man, it's been a tough start, hasn't it? Four wins from 13 games, four draws and five losses, I think it is. Not very good. At the bottom, we've got Sheffield Wednesday, Blackburn. I don't know why Blackburn are struggling so much. And then at the top, it's the usual suspects, Southampton and Leicester, of course. Now, I've been really struggling, and you'll see in the highlights at the start of this episode, before we get into the live stuff, there's just so many goals. So, so many goals, and it's definitely a problem, so I will talk about that a little bit later. Our first game was up against Hull City, and obviously I'm going to be showing you the results up first, and then showing you the goals. This is kind of like a new technique I've got of getting the highlights without having to record three hours of footage, so I just... Record the uh, the endings, if that makes sense. So you're seeing here the highlights from each game still, and you get to see all of the stats. So yeah, let me know if you like this. And it's quite quick. It's quick, fast-paced highlights. There's no match of the day analysis on this. Just goal after goal after goal. To be fair, Hull City were worth their win, and they will absolutely be near the top of the table near the end of the season. So I wasn't too disappointed with that one. And then we went into our next game against Coventry. 3-0 win, 19 shots. We absolutely decimated them. And expected goals of 7.2. Very, very impressive. And here you can see the breakdown of those shots. See, I never include this in my career mode. So I think this is a really cool way to do that, to show you exactly what happened in the games. Coventry were terrible. They were absolutely terrible. Let's get into the highlights now. The first goal was a cross. Completely unmarked Sharda there. That is how you say it, Sharda. I believe. And then we make it 2-0 at 57 minutes in. And it's Scarlett, top scorer in the league, by the way. And then another bit of a sweaty goal to uh, Deli Ali. Simple 3-0 win. Now, I've made a couple of sales. Adoma is going to be leaving to Charlotte FC for 250000 We've got Dunn getting out of the club. Awful, awful, awful player. I really don't like him. He's going to Belgium. 1.85 million, not too bad. We're also going to sell Bala there for 340,000. But then I made a mistake and it won't happen again. I've got a, a reminder in front of me now. If I'm playing the games and just recording the end, sometimes I might accidentally forget to go and actually get the highlights. So it's my bad. Thankfully, I don't have to show you this one. Um, you'll see there it's a 6-3 loss. 6-3! Um, I don't know what to say. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to show you all of those highlights because it doesn't save that many goals, I'm pretty sure. But this this is something I need to talk about, guys. There's too many goals in my games. So I'm looking to potentially use the gameplay mod again. There's been a new version come out, so I might look at doing it, doing that because it's, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? Here's another five-goal thriller, which we managed to win 3-2. And I think we scored a very last-minute goal here. But 2.5 expected goals, we got three. So we've outperformed ourselves. Round of applause to QPR. Scarlet once again, just being an absolute nuisance. He's so good, guys. He's really, really impressive. And then Deli Ali, what a signing he's been as well. Lovely shot in off the post there. Here is Sharda getting through on goal. Lovely finesse shot, 3-0. And then I got, I got it completely wrong. It wasn't a last-minute winner. If anything, Millwall just fought back towards the end here. 78 minutes in and they did get a second and I thought uh oh here we go and then another 3-2 so you see what I'm saying guys it's just a little bit too um I don't, I don't know it's too arcadey and I don't like that and I don't know what it is it's since the last update on the game it just doesn't feel right to me they scored the opener here 30 minutes in with a penalty and then we're going to try and get one back and boy do we get one back Richards outside of the boot let's get a replay of this one that is absolutely beautiful. I love him. Such a good player. But then they do get another one, and it's a scorcher as well into that far right corner. 2-1 at the moment. 2-1 down, that is. Lovely cross into Sharda, who's very good in the air as well, being six foot one. Starting to think maybe we should get him permanently because, damn, he's very good. We don't have an option to buy, though, so it would be a complete negotiation from scratch. But as you can see here, guys, this is the one that I wanted to talk about the most. Six all. Twelve goals. That is it's unheard of. And you'll notice that every goal is very similar. It's just the defenders find themselves completely missing. That's a great goal, by the way. They're just not closing them down enough. So what you're seeing, unfortunately, isn't all the goals because it doesn't save that many. And this is another worldie, by the way, from field. 
I just, I don't like this gameplay, so I have fixed it. And you'll see it when we get into the live gameplay, it's a lot better. But there's just another example of the defenders just not being tight enough. And this is the default gameplay of the game. It's embarrassing. It really is. It's so bad. Another one there that defenders just leaving me open. It's just, it, uh, it's so frustrating because I, I want to show you guys really fun, exciting gameplay. And of course, I'm going to score my chances. And of course, I'm going to concede goals. But six all. And then going into a four all, another eight goal game. It's it's mental. But hopefully you guys are enjoying all of the goals. A lot of them are very nice goals, actually. But um, clearly, it's just it's a bit broken, isn't it? First goal there from Blackburn. And then Vale with a lovely goal. Still not convinced by him. And it was this Gomodics guy. I know he's having a very good season in real life. He was all over me. Very good player. 3-1 there just before the break. And I thought at this point, right, no more goals, please. I'll take a 3-1 loss. Just keep it respectable and not concede so many goals. But they, I mean, <laughs> it, we made it 3 all, and I thought, actually, I can win this. And then I conceded and rescued it very late. This is the goal I thought I was talking about earlier. A last minute goal there to equalise. And then it was Watford up next. We get a 3-2 win. A little bit better, but just, again, another game with just so many goals. There's just too many goals going in. Too many chances. All the shots seem to be going in. So tweaking the goalkeepers is definitely something that needs to be done with this game. Good start from Watford there to make it 1-0. Shardo with his absolute pace in behind. And his strength, to be fair, very good. And then the sweatiest goal you ever see. <laughs> I think, again, just Sharda proving why we need to potentially sign him permanently. He's just such a good asset down that left side. Two all into the final minutes and Scarlet's there again. Beautiful. So now we've got Thomas Beard back with another set of players. Unfortunately, not too many good ones. We've got Callum Sykes here, which we're going to sign up. Looks okay. Louis Davey, no thank you. Jay Simmons, no thank you. And then... Alex John, 2.4 million value. Could be a centre-back, maybe a right-back, a left-back, left-mid. He's left-footed, so we'll go ahead and take a look at him. And then Will Wood, we rejected as well. And he was 69 rated. Absolutely insane. He doesn't get into the first team, but of course, we've given him a real face. He's in the squad, and he will definitely be competing at that left-back role with Paul. So welcome to the team, John. And um, I'm very, very happy. I just wish he was a centre-back. You guys know I'm struggling with my centre-back options. So um, still a very good pull, though, from the Youth Academy. So take a look at the top scorers. 17 in 19 games. Insane from Scarlett. Of course, we're going to settle that buy option. I was going to do it towards the end of the season, but I'm just doing it now. Just get it done. So Tottenham have been absolutely rinsed here. 1.25 million for a player that's as good as him. 68 rated already. He's flying up. His current wage is 14.5. We're going to try and get him on important. Five-year deal. We don't need a release clause. And you'll see here that I just go ahead and offer him exactly what he's on already because I just did not want to lose him. I almost put in 14 million, by the way. Can you imagine that? 14 million per week. Apparently, we're signing Mbappe. <laughs> 14 and a half grand. Submit the offer. And as expected, it was instantly accepted. I probably could have got him cheaper, but I thought we are a championship team. We can afford that kind of wage and that will go down as one of the best signings of this series. Mark my words. It is only an A. It's not an S. Give me an S in this game. I hope they add an S and then S plus. <laughs> a plus plus. It's a really, really good deal. He's worth 2.2 already. So I was super, super happy with that. And I decided at the end here that Hodge, I mean, it was likely he was going to get his loan terminated because he's just not playing. So I'm just going to get rid of him now. He's absolutely rubbish. And I'm going to recall Andre Dozel, 24 years old, 69 rated. Welcome to the team. He really helps us out in midfield. And now we're going to jump into the live section of this video. Right, so we've got two games against Leicester with Birmingham in between and then it's Watford again. We just played against Watford. It was a tough game, but I'm excited because I reckon if we can get two out of four wins here, maybe three, that would be incredible. I think maybe asking a little bit too much considering I'm struggling a lot at the moment, but that would, I think, get us into around eighth or ninth position. So better than we are right now, that's for sure. Quick note, though, as you would have known, I probably talked about it. I haven't recorded that bit yet, but 
I was really struggling with just the amount of goals going in. And I've had this before. So to try and help reduce the amount of goals, I'm actually using the gameplay mod again that I was using before, but it's a newer version that he's worked on. So if you want to try it out, there's obviously the link in my Discord. It's a lot better. So we're going to go into this Leicester game with the new gameplay mod, and it won't be a 12 goal thriller. That's for sure. <laughs> Just a quick rundown of the gameplay mod. Once again, it does slow things down and it adds a little bit more realism. Passing is a little bit slower. Players don't move so quickly and arcade-like. Um, and it's, it's less clunky than it was, though. The original one that I was using was quite clunky, but um, this feels so much better. Let's see if we can get across in here, maybe. Yeah, I mean, you're going to notice as well with clearances... Um, with long passes, they're just less accurate. You're going to see a lot of passes going wide of the mark. Instead of it being pinpoint accurate all the time, the CPU will make mistakes, as will I. And Daka's in here. Oh, my. Ooh, that was close. There is one specific thing that drives me mad with the default gameplay in this game. And it's when the opposition just knock the ball past your defenders and just run onto it. It's almost impossible to defend. Oh, God, we're close there. And this mod has completely eradicated that. They don't just knock it past you and run 600 miles an hour through. That is not what I wanted to do there at all. But it's very typical that I'm using it for the first time against Leicester. The best team in the league. They are winning the league right now. I mean, I could play my best game and still lose here. I am really enjoying this gameplay. This is so much better. Field over on the right side here to Cannon. I'm going to give it back. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Deli Ali into Vale. Tackled. The thing is, it's Leicester. I shouldn't judge too hard. The fact that we've made it to half time without really conceding any big chances is a fat W. But I'm struggling to create as well. It is going to take a couple of games, I think. And I, I, I need to play against weaker teams to really get used to this. Nice turn. Come on, Cannon. Yes. This could work out well for us. Get it into the box. Come on, Richards. No. Oh, that was so nearly a goal. So nearly 1-0. If I win this game, I'm going to be absolutely elated. We actually, right now, are on top. It could happen. Yes. Scarlett's in. Has he got the finish? No. The league top scorer has missed from there. Oh. Deli Alley now. Driving forward. Look at him go. Up to Vale. Nice. Come on, through ball. Oh, again, getting so close. And there is one of those mistakes from the CPU. I love that. If you ever watch a football game, you'll realise that players aren't robots. Well, some are, Haaland. <laughs> and they make mistakes. Loose passes, clearances that go a bit haywire. There's all sorts of problems in every football match. I'm going to go for a shot here. Oh, why did I do that? For the first time since recalling him, Dozzle is coming in. He looks really good, by the way. And I'm going to have Jelovic come on as well. And Cannon into that centre-back role. Oh, I don't have Kakai there. Uh, I could give John his debut. But do I really want to play him down the right? Yeah, do you know what? Why not? Big problem. Big problem. Daka's in. Daka scores. Oh, man. Leicester have just punished me. After missing all of those chances, it was coming. It was coming. Okay. Well, we've still got time to get an equaliser. But honestly, going into this game, I knew that I was most likely going to lose. Here is Dozzle. I like him so far. And now we are in. Equaliser maybe. Oh! Ref. I would have loved you forever if you gave me a soft pen there. Unfortunately, we're not going to get it. We've got a couple of minutes left. I could have I could have equalised. Could have been there. And by the way, Jewsbury Hall. Wow. He has... Oh my God, what was that? He has been brilliant in this game. Definitely a player I'm going to look at at some point. Here's Dakar again. Into Jewsbury Hall. Should be 2-0. Should absolutely be 2-0. They've still got it. I can't defend it. Oh, yeah. Leicester at top of the league for a reason. Jeez. Get me into the next match. We've got Birmingham up next, and I am thinking we play Dozzle against his old club. 
because I really liked him when he came on in that game. I'm actually going to take Deli Alley out for this one. Not having the best couple of games. Scarlet, Vale, is it Sade? I keep forgetting to check. I'm doing it now. Sharda. 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 Not Shade. Sharda. Sharda. Okay. That does make a bit more sense. I may have made a mistake in that last game. So again, with this mod, you're meant to play on world class. It works best on world class. I was on legendary, which you can do. I've spoke to the guy who's made the mod. You can obviously play it on legendary, but it won't be as good. It's just designed for world class. So let's see what happens in this game. But God, yeah, it was so tough to create chances. But I thought I'm playing against Leicester. No wonder I'm struggling. It's Leicester. So there's nothing wrong with that. Let's see if Birmingham, who, let's be honest, I should be beating. What a ball that is. Um, well, and, and, and there you go. Okay, well, the thing is, I can still play on Legendary if I want to. Let, let's just see what happens here. But Birmingham are one of the worst teams. So I feel like I should be able to beat them comfortably. That is a stunning goal from Scarlet. The accuracy on that to hit it straight at the keeper. <laughs> and then he's just oh dearie me oh ruddy here's Vale maybe a little one two get him down the right side it's good but I think the defender's gonna get there oh what well on Vale oh he can keep it in though that's why he needs 90 pace instead of what 78 whatever he's got right that's it I'm buying a faster winger <laughs> it is though to be fair in moments like that you just need that extra bit of pace and, and Vale doesn't have it I've got a free kick in a pretty good area here. Do I go with Vale? I don't think so. This is where I need um, Deli Ali on the pitch. I think I'm going to have to go with... I'm going to have to, aren't I? Dozzle's got pretty good stats. Let's go Dozzle then against his old club. But only on loan there, so who cares? Lots of power. Whip it. Go on. I mean, it was a good save. It was creeping in, maybe. But I couldn't have hit that any harder. So why did it only just about reach the goal without bouncing? It's just the free kick system, I think, is a bit rubbish in this game. Good cross. And Sharda's hit the post. I think he was offside. Oh, good strike from Dozzle. I really like him. I knew I should have brought him back earlier. I thought, no, I'm going to leave it. I'll, I'll use some of the other players. But he's so much better. I mean, that Hodge guy on loan from Wolves was so bad. I've instantly upgraded, and it was basically for free. Here's Richards. We know he can score with the outside of his boot, and he's fluffed it completely. And that's half time. Yeah, this is much better. I thought early on when I scored, uh-oh, it's too easy. But no, I think Ruddy's just made a mistake there. Goalkeepers make mistakes. It's part of the mod. And uh, I've actually found it pretty, I'd say, balanced. I've, I've had most of the ball and most of the attacks, but I think that should be the case against Birmingham. Oh, what a ball. Come on. Has he got it? Almost. Chase this down. Ruddy might make another error. Oh, my God. Dozzle. I should have really made that count. Ruddy is having an absolute nightmare. He's Ruddy awful. That was so British. That, that hurt. Scarlet again. Into Sharda. And that is, again, very fine margins. Well, that works. Oh, that works all right. Sharda, Sharda, Sharda. That is how you pronounce it. What a finish. The more I'm using him, the more I think I'm quite tempted to sign him permanently. You guys know I really want Zarauri, but obviously he's on loan at Hull right now and I can't have him. But also, I'm just thinking he might be too expensive anyway. Sharda is going to be a little bit cheaper and I already know I like him. Look at the space here for Vale. Through for Sharda, maybe? Yes. Ruddy's come off his line. Please finish that. Oh, he's put it wide. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Right, okay, I'm going to make some changes now anyway. Dozzle coming off. He was brilliant. Jelovic coming on. I'm going to go Richards on the right wing. And then I have Deli Alley as well. And then John making his proper debut at left back. I'm not throwing him on at right back, which, by the way, he, he did all right. Deli Ali has been excellent since coming on. I mean, he, he has to start, really, doesn't he? It is Deli Ali after all. The championship is his level. 
But yeah, he, he improves the team pretty much straight away. Oh, that was close. I've got to say, I think the, the gameplay mod is here to stay. We've gone from a 1-0 loss to potentially a 2-0 win here. The gameplay... Oh, close. The gameplay is just so much better. The, the best thing I can say, guys, is try it. If you're playing on PC and you're comfortable modding the game, just give it a go because it's, it is a lot more fun. I'm still getting used to it. And I'm sure there'll be a few games where I think, oh, it's a bit too slow or, or whatever. But I'm not having six all draws. I mean, that's ridiculous, isn't it? That never happens in football. But that is the end of the game. And we got a win. I've only got four million pounds right now. And to make Sade permanent, it would be seven, maybe. So that is just not going to happen. I would love to make that permanent, but I guess... I just don't have the money right now. And to be fair, I've already decided that in the window, I want to bring in a centre-back. I'm, I'm fed up with my options. I'm using Hayden as a centre-back right now. Cook is cooked. <laughs> he's just not great. Hayden on loan, of course. Fox, he's all right. 30 now. Clark Salter's good. I quite like him. Dunn, as you know, already decided to sell. He will be leaving in a couple of couple of weeks. He's going in the January transfer window. We've got Gubbins out on loan. I'm in the way again, aren't I? Sorry about that. Gubbins just, he's never going to play, is he? And then we're into our right backs where, okay, Cannon can play as a centre back, but it's an absolute must. And I'm thinking bald power. I myself like to shave my hair off and Matriciani, Ma Matriciani, Matriciani, that is, that is definitely not a German name, but Schalke, have, I think, a very good option for us here. A right back, a centre back, a left back. He's got pace. He's quick. 85 sprint speed, 78 acceleration, six foot two. He can play anywhere in the back line. So even though I've only got four million, I think if we can get him for 1.8, that is money well spent. The other option is Mengi or Men Menji. Uh, pff, I need to learn how to say his name as well. Having a very good season with Luton. Ex-Manchester United, I believe. But he can only play as a centre-back. I, I, you guys know I love a bit of versatility. So I'm, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to approach to buy. We could pay the release clause, but I reckon we can get him for his value. So 1.8 million. Schalke struggling in the, uh, the second tier of Bundesliga football. This is, of course, a signing that will come in in January. So in a couple of weeks. We're going to offer a transfer fee of 1.8. That's his value. And let's see what they say. They want Dozzle. No. If I wanted to offer you a player, I would have. I'm not interested. 1.8 million. Come on. I might have other players, but no. Okay, nice. 1.8 million. So to get a player that... Okay, he's not going to be one for the future. But for now, he improves the team. He definitely does. So let's negotiate with Matriziani. It sounds Italian to me. Madriziani, Ma Matriziani. It's a bit of a weird one. Let's see if we can get him on maybe... Ooh. I mean, he's an important player. That's that's exactly what he's going to be. He's an important player for us. We'll try and get him on a five-year deal, which he will accept. Okay, no release clause needed. Five and a half. Well, 5.8 thousand. I mean, I think that's doable. I think we can probably get a little bit lower. Let's try just five and a half. He's on 4.9 right now. Yeah, there you go. It is enough. So there you go. We've just signed a German player that can play across the back line. He offers us a bit of pace. And with the proper development plan and all that stuff, I reckon he could be very good. And what that means is we can use Hayden as a midfielder then. Because that is... I changed him to a centre-back, but we'll change him back to a DM. That is his best position. He's done very well for us at centre-back, but I think that's where we put our brand new signing. Right centre-back. He can interchange with Cannon. He can play left-back. He can play anywhere. We'll, we'll definitely get his weak foot upgraded, um, but I'm quite excited to see him arrive and for this man to go. Go away, done. You're done out here. Thank you for watching this episode, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with two games. We've got Watford and then... I can't remember who it was. Was it Plymouth? I, I can't quite remember... So, no, Leicester and Watford, wasn't it? Is, is, I need to check. I need to check. My, my brain's going crazy here. Yeah, 
We've got Leicester and then Watford. So two really tough games. And then the window opens. Now, of course, I've just made a signing. I don't think I'll be making any others. But one thing's for sure, I will be selling players.